It's a crime trend that's exploded. Packages snatched from porches in broad daylight just as fast as they were delivered. Porch pirates. I think Big and small, striking, just as more and more of us do our pandemic shopping online. But this time of year is a hot time for porch pirates. They're patrolling just like we are. Officer Jesse Mitten is with the Arlington Police Department. Earlier this year, his team arrested this man, who investigators say went on a months-long pirating spree across North Texas, taking what he wanted and dumping what he didn't. The suspect apparently was dumping most of the packages in a ditch or an alley or something like that. Some was still in the package if he didn't want it, or it might just be the empty box, you know, trying to get rid of that part of the evidence, I guess. And this guy isn't alone. According to our brand new News Nation poll conducted by Decision Desk HQ, almost 17% of people told us they'd had a package stolen. Another 30% said they knew someone who had. Thieves risking it all for mystery boxes that oftentimes don't amount to much. A pair of boxer briefs and a pair of socks with a pocket in them. We hopped in Officer Mitten's patrol car. He took us for a ride along. Looking for vulnerable houses. It's right there on the front porch. Looks like two packages, one stacked on top of each other. And that's just ripe for the taking. I mean, like you're saying, short front yard. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take much for somebody to just grab and go. Right. A different study by SafeWise showed that in the last year, 210 million packages disappeared and that more than 50% of them were from Amazon, followed by FedEx and USPS. And with supply chain issues cutting costs, many retailers are now shipping labeled boxes without an additional exterior box giving pirates a treasure map to exactly what's inside. I don't think people who do porch pirates see that's like that's the only thing they do. I think somebody might have a drug habit they're trying to support or find other ways to make money for whatever it is they want to buy. Or use it as a ways to means, I guess. But it's really like I just want to be a Grinch and, and watch you not have. No, I don't, it's, yeah, it's, I don't it's think. It's fueling something I think I think that would be, yeah. The message police are trying to get out is simple. The less time your delivery sits outside, the less opportunity there is for someone to take advantage. Sign up for delivery notifications so you know exactly when a shipment has arrived. Think about having orders sent to your workplace or a neighbor who's home more often. Invest in a surveillance system or door camera so you can catch criminals in action. And download neighborhood apps like Nextdoor so you can communicate with neighbors who can alert or help you when pirates strike. It's a crime of opportunity. And they're hoping to hit the lotto. They're looking for that reward. And that's the problem, too, is because if they get something like that, it just encourages them to do it more. So anything we can do to prevent them from being successful is better for us and for your package. The other piece of advice from Officer Minton was call your local police department. You know, a lot of departments right now um, you know, hosting these holiday programs where you can actually ship your package straight to the station. They'll keep it for you safely until you're available to go uh, pick it up. We actually know of a few stations here just in the North Texas area doing just that this season. And Marnie, the Metro City ranked worst for package theft in 2021 goes to Denver, Colorado. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.